Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to share with you a pop-up easel card. So this was the card that was inspired to me. This was made by Esty, one of my teammates. So this one, it's using the sale um, memory and more cards. Uh, coming home, selling home, memory and more, now I'm blank. Uh, it is Come Sail Away, Memory and More. And today we're going to use the Magnolia uh, Lane. So you see it just popped down. And then you see you get the little um, place there to hold on. And then you can pull it up or pull it up this way. Whatever that works for you. And I decorated the back too in case that you don't have enough place to write here. You can write in the back. But the beauty of this, see, it's just stand very, very prettily. And plus it's a pop-up over here. So, and here was Estes one. Voila. Okay, let's get started. So, from the memory and more cards, those cards... I know it's for memory book, they say, but it is awesome to make cards. I've been using quite a bit of them. So I used two sheets of them. This one over here and this one. And this measure four by six. This is a little bit too big. So we're going to cut that at a five and a quarter. So you're going to cut the one that measure four by six. You're going to cut it at four by five and a quarter so this little piece i'm going to keep it put it in the back so now we get the base there now the next uh one i'm using the designer series paper that match with that with the magnolia lane this measure one and a half well one and a half by nine and a half don't worry about marking all the measurement. Click below in the description. You will find the direct link for this blog post with all the measurement. So now that I have that, we're going to go ahead and start building. So you need your card base going to be measure four and a quarter by five and a half, just a quarter sheet. Now I'm going to use some of those embellishment in here. You get some, it's get like, I call it the sticker sheet there. Et voila. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put this little one here. And I'm going to put that right at the bottom. And I just peel the whole thing, flap it down, turn it around and snip it. And you bet I'm going to save this little piece. Who knows when I'm going to need a little piece like this. I'm going to put it back on my sheet there. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to add a flower at the end. First, we're going to prep everything. And on my card, this beautiful flower here, I'm using the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. And I'm going to use Thinking of You. I thought that would be a perfect card for Thinking of You. And I will use a Mossy Meadow. No, you know what? I'm going to use a Memento Ink Black. And I'm going to put that right here. Et voila! So, so pretty. Okay, now we got our card base prep. We get our belly band that I had, or it's, I want it on this side. Now we're going to need the one inch circle punch. Now the little bitty piece that make this uh, fly up and down, mechanism, whatever it say. Okay, this one here measure half inch by, um, it, okay, it is half inch by one and a half. Score at half. And score at once. So what you want, you want to have this here. Okay. Now, the piece to go all the way in the back, this one here, measure, um, it is um, one inch. Like I said, all measurement going to be, uh, yeah, one inch by two and three quarter. So one by two and three quarter, score at half inch at each end. 
Now the next piece that we need, this one measure one and a half by two and a half, and then you score at half inch. Voila. Okay, let's start building. First thing you want to do, it's going to be to take uh, this piece here, I should have done that earlier, and we're going to score that at, I want to see if we scored that one and a half at the bottom, so this is going to come right here, and this is going to be right there. So you're going to score just above one and a half. So one and a half. I'm going to go at one and three eighths, I think, or one and three quarter. You know what? Let me measure that twice here. It is one and a half. Score at one and a half, my friend. One and a half. Score at one and a half. Now let's put that here. And this is going to come over here. Just want to make sure it is right. Yes. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take our belly band here and we're going to put that around. And you want to put it loose, though not too tight. Fold this, make sure it's straight, fold this, and I'm not scoring that. It seems every time I do a billy pan, if I score it, I got a hard time. So now we know that it's about right. Now what we're going to do is take a adhesive, you can use Fast Fuse or um, Tear and Tape, Tombow, whatever works best for you. I do not recommend... Um, snail because this is going to get pulled. So what I'm going to do is put some, and like I said, you can put um, tear and tape. Okay, keep this flat. Now, you know what? I think it's going to be easier. No, try to. Uh, I score it. Okay, let's unscore this a bit. Here we go. Now it's going to go better. Okay, now we're going to take our. Make sure this stays straight. Right at the edge. If I'm off on my score, maybe you just want to fold that after. Turn this around. Whoops. Turn this around. And let's put this together. Hold it down. Now what I'm going to do, it's, and you can use tear and tape again for this. Whatever works for you. And fold this right there. Just make sure you're straight. Okay, now that looked very straight. Now what you're going to do is pull this down and you're going to go in the center. And usually I don't measure, but for this one I will measure. So it's two and one eight my center. So I'm just going to take a pin here and do myself a little mark there. I know that's my center. You're going to take your one inch circle punch and go halfway. And the halfway, it's easy. You get those two marks. One thing that I used to share to find it, um, the center halfway, if you see it's raised up there, you get kind of a line. Well, the line it's hard to see. If you put a Sharpie there, then you're going to see. And also right here, it cave in a little bit more. So then you know where is all your center of your circle punch this way. So a little tip along the way. Here we go. So now I know this was my center there, and then I got it right there. You don't have to have it right at the center, even if you go a little bit more and so on, but it gives you a good way to um, check it out, I mean, to follow the center. Now we got our opening. Let's slide that back in. 
And now you understand why you want it loose a bit, because it needs to move, right? And here we go. We did very good. It's all straight. Now, and what we're going to do, it's take, we're going to put the piece in the bag here, the little magnets. So it's going to go, this going to go full flat. So your score, go at the bottom. So this is going to go all on the long way. I'm going to take this and again, match that in the center and go right at the edge where it pop up like this. Now you're going to fold this back. You see, fold it back. So then you're going to have this part here. But before we do that, we need, let me make sure, okay, we need to add our little piece in the back of this. I did this one and I feel I'm uh, in the back there. So this one I used my Tombow just because it was so small. So you're going to put this is going to go right at the edge here, right at the center. So the glue needs to go in the back. So remember, with a video, you can fast forward, backwards, and so on. Here we go. I'm going to press that there a little bit there. Now I'm going to fold this. It should fold right at the score line there. You see this? should should fold right at the score line. Now you're going to put your adhesive just to the score. Put that there. And now you're going to fold, and that's quite a bit. Do I have a, I got a little piece here. I got a little bit too happy on my glue there. Here we go. Now, you're going to take this and fold it back. And we're going to press it a little bit just because I want it to have a strong bond there. So now that it's done. And then, oops, that's not attached yet. Some things seem not right. No, that is right. And then we're going to glue this one right at the top of this. So you're going to put glue on this part. And let's make sure this is straight down. That looked good. Now you're going to go right at the edge of this here. Because it have to pop open. Just center that the best that you can. I need to squish a little bit on this side. Here we go. Okay. Now see you you get that pop up there. Now this piece here, you're gonna fold this way. So like a Z, one in, one out. And we're going to put that, this one that fold like in, going to go at the top. The one that fold up, going to go at the bottom. And the best way to do that, that I find out, well, maybe it's the best way. Like I said, I did one, and um, I was like, okay, how to do this, right? So now, I, this is what's going to keep this all straight. I just lift this up when it's close, put that right here. Keep that straight. Fold this. Oops, make sure you're straight. So this one, that's why you want Tombow glue, because if you get a little boo-boos, it's easy to uh, switch it around. Okay, that should look pretty good. Now if you take this, oh, I'm holding on Take this, and voila, you get your everything pop up, see? It's way cool. Now we're gonna put this down a little bit. We're gonna use one of our pretty flower and the memory and more. I'm gonna lift that a little bit more. And I'm gonna put one of the little flower just at the corner here. 
thinking of you. And then, like I said, in the back, I use my little strip here of the one from the memory and more the extra piece and I put that in the back why not and we're going to put that right here you get placed right here or you get placed right right here and see it's like very very easy how it's like and it stopped there it won't get out anymore because this is the stopper so that's the stopper and this, oh, what we put in the bag, that's what make it pop up when we lift it up. And then we can put it down a bit. And voila, a perfect pop-up easel. Thank you so much for watching. And again, all the measurement, all the supplies can be purchased on my blog. That is, if in, you're in, in the U.S. And all measurement, right below you get the direct link to my blog post or above in the eye. Thank you and have a lovely day, my friend. And Esty, thank you so much for sharing your talent with us. Bye-bye for now.